The Ravens select Tyler Linderbaum at 25 in the first round. I think it's an odd choice in terms of uh, him not being the prototypical uh, lineman size uh, or center type that the Ravens tend toward. Uh, he's, he's a good prospect. Um, I don't think he's a perfect prospect. I think length will be an issue and he will need to get stronger. I'm a bit concerned that you do not see him generate movement one-on-one -on -one in college. I think there will be a lot more zone run by the Ravens this year. I heard an analyst say last night that his tape is immaculate. That is not the case. Um, I've heard it said that he is the best uh, center prospect in 10 years. Uh, everyone's saying that. I disagree. I liked Creed Humphrey much more coming out of college for the Ravens. I'm excited for Tyler Linderbaum. I'm glad that we invested in the offensive line and invested uh, in Lamar Jackson that way. I do think he's an upgrade, um, but as I said before, he's not a perfect prospect and he's got work to do. Linderbaum has high level awareness uh, generally. We see it here in the run game. He's in combination with the right guard. Watch his eyes turn as the backside linebacker shoots that gap comes off that block. He's able to get his inside arm to the shoulder pad. Uh, just enough. And uh, this guy's definitely in position to make a play on the ball carrier. If he doesn't see that, come off the block, make the block. This time the backside linebacker uh, scrapes. And watch his eyes. Again, he's in combination here. He's going to find that assignment. Come off that block. Get just enough. Squeeze the linebacker so that a hole opens up and that linebacker isn't able to get in the backfield. The linebacker is reading on this blitz. He's going to delay. Look for a gap. And watch Tyler come off his block. Come across a gap and pick that up. His ability to get out of his stance quickly and reach block this three technique is actually pretty rare. He's quick out of his stance, works with his head and his shoulders over his outside leg. He's aiming for the, the breast, the outside armpit here of the three technique. Continues to run his legs, and there you see it. That outside arm comes up, shoots, attaches to the armpit or the outside arm gets knocked away watch him refit keeps running his legs and they run right behind him watch it again another nice job turning and sealing this two eye this guy actually works away from him he's quick out of his stance once again you see him get that helmet play side there he works the hand inside or hands continues working his legs flips his hips and seals that defender from the play watch it again he does not typically generate a ton of movement one-on-one -on -one. Uh, so he's going to have to be firing off the ball playing with good uh, pad level consistently uh, and have proper technique all of which he does you see that here firing off the football this guy's just getting out of his stance low pads hands right inside and this isn't a highlight block that he makes but he's continuing to drive his legs and staying on his block just long enough uh, that the back picks up the first down He's very athletic. He's going to look good in space, um, on pulls, coming over to get a three-tech when the Ravens pull their guard, uh, screen plays. Screen on third down really looks great in space, makes multiple blocks on this particular play. Uh, very athletic looking. 
Yeah, he, he moves almost like a skill position player. I'm pretty certain the Ravens are going to adjust their run game to feature more outside zone, more zone in general. He does a good job easily kind of reaching and out leveraging the nose and getting on the second level block. I think he's a bit eager at times coming off combination blocks. You can see that here. He and the right guard are, are comboing the nose to the backside linebacker. The, back, uh, the nose splits them ultimately. Uh, first off, it doesn't get any movement off the ball. And secondly, this linebacker, he's not coming downhill. Um, generally, you want to be able to see both numbers before you come off that block. And you don't want to come off that block until you get movement and make sure this number one, or excuse me, the uh, nose tackle is handled. Watch it again. Uh, he's quick off the ball here. Nose plays with good pads, gets under him a little bit. His job one-on-one -on -one is to move this block, or move this defender, excuse me. This guy finds the ball carrier, sheds, and gets in on the play. Very similar looking play. Uh, he's got to go a little farther because they want him to get this two eye. But I do think you see him struggle with this guy's power across from him. And again, he's got to move blocks one on one at times. And you see him unable to do that here. And the guy he's blocking gets off the block, kind of drags him down the line uh, following the ball carrier and makes a play. I do think length is an issue, and uh, he needs to get stronger. Uh, he's going to get driven back onto the feet of the quarterback, and there's just nowhere for the quarterback to stand up. Uh, the D lineman takes his hand, throws it, and then runs him. Pulls him right back into the lap of the quarterback. Watch it again. The nose tackle does a nice job with his jab step. And Tyler's going to overset. Get beat inside. Quarterback takes a hit. 